Okay guys, are you ready to go outside and play? Yes. Britney Spears has shown off her beautiful California mansion a handful of times on her Instagram. Although the star has owned plenty of beautiful houses over the span of her career, her current family home in Thousand Oaks is something else. Britney's 21 acre estate is worth over 7 mil and with that kind of property and the beauty of the actual house, I'm not surprised. The Princess of Pop has moved in and out of about 10 mansions through the years, each one more impressive than the last. Today we're going to look at Britney's current dream house in Thousand Oaks, give you all the details, and look at some of her previous homes too. I feel like so many people give Britney Spears a hard time, but A, she's a total queen of music and a pop icon, and B, having mental illness is serious, so give the woman a break. Her life has been crazy and she's been in the spotlight since she was just a kid. I don't blame her. Hi guys, just checking in with all of you who are concerned about me, all is well. My family has been going through a lot of stress and anxiety lately, so I just needed time to deal. But don't worry, I'll be back very soon. Over the years, Brit has given us so many hit albums and so much of her energy. I'm sure I speak for many other 90s girls too when I say I still love Britney and she was of course one of my biggest icons. At the time of this recording, Britney is 38 years old and is a singer, songwriter, dancer, and actress. Let's not forget she's also a mama of two boys. Her first two studio albums, Baby One More Time and Oops I Did It Again, were global successes and actually made Britney the best-selling teenage artist of all time. She's earned countless awards from Grammys to multiple Guinness World Records to a star on Hollywood Walk of Fame and more. All well deserved. According to records, Britney's net worth these days is an estimated 215 million, but some sources claim it's 50 mil. Either way, she rarely took a break from her crazy career, whether it was releasing albums, touring, or her Las Vegas residency she held for four years, which by the way was one of the highest grossing residencies of all time. With her multi-million dollar net worth, Britney's also bought plenty of multi-million dollar houses. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna take a look at Britney Spears' mega mansion in Thousand Oaks, California, as well as some of her other real estate investments. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Halsey and Lady Gaga, and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm gonna be responding to some at the end of this. Now let's get into this video. Before we look at Britney's fancy mansions, we'll see where she called home as a kid. Although she was born in Mississippi, her hometown and where she was raised is Kentwood, Louisiana. Looking at photos of the home she shared with her parents and siblings back then, it's a far cry from the home she's earned down the road. And if you want to visit Britney's actual exact bedroom, there's an unofficial Britney Spears museum in Kentwood which is more like a house sized shrine to the pop star. It's been confirmed that the bedroom is the real deal, just like Britney's childhood bedroom she had in her photo shoot with Rolling Stone back in 99. Her parents donated all of her original furniture. Kinda weird, but cool. Like I said, Britney has moved around a lot since she made it big in Hollywood, so we can't tour all of her mansions. But just to get an idea, let's see some of the homes the star bought over the years. In 2001, Britney bought her first LA mansion for $2.9 million and it was located right in the Hollywood Hills where she lived for a couple of years. When Britney married Kay Fed in 2004, because who could ever forget that era? <laughs> she bought a new mansion for them to live in, this time in Malibu. She spent $13.5 million on this estate and of course sold it when they divorced. I feel like a lot of Britney's mansions have a similar style, at least on the exterior, so maybe she has a preference. Anyways, in 2007 she got back into her music and moved to Beverly Hills, buying this house for 6.8 mil. Only a year later, Britney moved on to her next palace-like house in Calabasas, California. This property offered more privacy away from the paparazzi, so she stayed here for a few years and put almost a million dollars worth of renovations into the home too. In 2011, Brit sold it for over 4 million. After this, Britney moved on to her current neighborhood, Thousand Oaks. 
So Brittany still lives in Thousand Oaks, California, but before her current house, she lived in a different one from 2012 until 2015. At the time of purchase, Britt paid just over 6.7 mil. I guess it was time to settle down with the kids in the suburbs. Thousand Oaks is the second largest city in Ventura County and in the northwestern part of Greater LA. Brittany lived in a gated community here, so there was a ton of privacy. And it is definitely a more suburban neighborhood than Hollywood or Beverly Hills. The mansion was a sprawling single story home that measured 8,456 square feet. It had five beds and five full baths as well, and two half baths. The mansion overlooks the famous Santa Monica cliffs with gorgeous views of the oceans. Upon walking in Brittany's old house, you're greeted with a ballroom-sized, double-height entryway that leads to the also-giant living room. Here you'll find a custom bar and a walk-in wine cellar. There's a second living room too, called the Great Room. Other features of this mansion include a games room, two home offices, and plenty of guest rooms. Most of the rooms towards the back of the home open to the patio outside. Moving outside the home, there was a lounge area with fireplace, dining area just outside the kitchen, and a grilling station. Brittany's grassy backyard was made complete with a large cliffside infinity pool. Apparently, Brittany rented the home for 25 k a month when she found her current mansion, then ended up selling the place for about $7 million. But personally, I think her current home is even more beautiful. Let's also know before I show you Brittany's Thousand Oaks estate, her first purchase in real estate was actually in her hometown. After baby one more time, Time did so well, Brittany purchased a custom mansion on the outskirts of Kentwood, Louisiana for her mom in 1999. They even named the house Serenity. Her mom still lives there with the family, so whenever Brittany visits, of course, this is where she stays. Serenity is a 6,539 square foot mansion, and it's also a very private and guarded estate to make it safe for family time. Without further ado, it's time to look at Brittany's dream mansion. Thousand Oaks must be special to her considering our pop princess decided to buy again in the same neighborhood after selling her last home there. Back in 2015, Brittany sealed the deal on this mansion for $7.4 million. Brittany's gated mega mansion sits on about 21 acres of land, and it's in a gated community, offering a ton of privacy for her and the fam. The home was designed in what's called a neoclassical Italian style and offers a massive 12,464 square feet of living space. Inside her Thousand Oaks home, you'll find five bedrooms and eight baths, and apparently four of the bedrooms have their own en-suites. Of course, Brittany's master bedroom has a massive walk-in closet too. Brittany's mansion has high vaulted ceilings, and my favorite room of all has got to be the great room. It's hard to miss when you walk in her place considering it's two stories high and has windows all along the wall. The ceilings in there are actually 35 feet high and there's a large fireplace too. The mega mansion has a grand staircase you'll find in the entryway, which takes you to an open concept second floor area overlooking the great room. Other features of Brittany's Thousand Oaks mansion include a large media room, an oak library, and a chef's kitchen with a breakfast nook. Of course, Britt has also made a home gym in there for herself. If you follow her on Insta, you probably see how much she loves posting her workouts and does plenty of them outside in her backyard and in her fitness center. If her actual house isn't big enough, there's an additional luxury pool house with granite kitchen, fireplace, and more. Even a 3,500 bottle temperature controlled wine cellar. Moving outside of Brittany's dream mansion, there's 1,200 square foot poolside patio with full kitchen and bathroom, just perfect for pool parties, I'd assume. And of course, she has an infinity edge swimming pool where Britt loves to swim laps. The home's grounds also have a separate spa, a tennis court, a spacious garden, and an orchard. If that's not enough, she also has a three green golf course with picture-perfect views of the Santa Monica Mountains, complete with sand traps. So now we've gotten a look at our Princess of Pop and her beautiful home. Brittany has owned plenty of gorgeous mansions in California over the years, but her current spa in Thousand Oaks looks like a dream. I think this one is my personal fave. She's owned another mansion in Thousand Oaks, homes in Beverly Hills, Malibu, Hollywood, and more. Which ones did you guys like best from what you saw? Britney's multi-million dollar home in Thousand Oaks is amazing and she seems to have great taste by looking at her real estate investments. She takes full advantage of all that land by doing her outdoor workouts and yoga as well as swimming in her gorgeous infinity pool. And people need to give poor Britney a break. She's had a crazy life and I just hope she's happy. At least it looks like her gorgeous mansion has become quite the sanctuary for her and her family. Okay guys, now I'll read out some of your comments on our other vids. I love hearing from you guys. On our Nikki tutorials before and after vid, Alicia Gresham said, She is just so pretty, amazing makeup artist. 
on the same vid Jane Forster said. I'm a diehard subscriber of Nikki and I'm so proud of her. She seems like such a genuine and good person who just wants to live her life. Nothing changes. She is still one of the best makeup artists ever. She is amazing. She is Nikki Tutorials. I agree with you guys, it's so nice she has such a supportive fan base, and she deserves it. It's so cool even seeing her old videos and how amazing she became over the years at makeup. It's such dedication. And finally, Miguel Avila also commented saying about that video, You did a good job on this, Kara. Thanks so much, Miguel. It's really hard to make everyone happy when reporting on these subjects, so I appreciate the encouraging comments from you guys when I read them. All right, guys, that's all I could find on Britney Spears' multi-million dollar dream home in Thousand Oaks, California. What did you guys think about her 21-acre property? What was your favorite part? Like I said, I'm a big fan of the great room, and I like the whole vibe of her mansion in general. Not to mention the property outside is perfect, especially that infinity pool and the views. Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you next time with some more videos. Bye!